Hi, today is July 29, 2007, and I'm going to have uh, my interview for my book, The Story of Miles. So go ahead, ask questions. Okay, I'm Art Porter, and I'm interviewing Danny. Danny, why did you choose to write this novel about a boy's sexual identity? Basically, it started off based on character off me. I took a piece of my inner self and created this boy named Miles and in a fictional story in a fictional world. And basically, that's how it started. <laughs> are, are you saying that you're taking this from your own life experiences? Some of them, yes. Like one of the characters, I'm not going to say who, one of the characters is a lot like me. My, and so some of them do have part of my inner self in me, yes. And were you especially inspired by anyone to do this? or, or No, what? basically from my own life experiences. I created the story, fictional story, based on my own life, some of it. Were the deaths in the story on people you knew, and why so many deaths in this movie? No, none of the deaths are from people I really knew. They're all fictional characters. Well, who is the intended audience? It's basically for everyone, young, young adults, teenagers, older adults, for everybody. How, how are you publishing this book? It's a self-published book again. Um, yeah. Uh, you have a nice way of setting up some of the conflict and drama, especially the details. Where did you learn or how did you learn to write so well? Well, basically I started writing when I was 16, writing stories that is. And um, that's basically, as the years progressed, I improved a lot with my writing and storytelling and characters and stuff like that. Tell me, how long do you write a day, and how long did it take you to write this story? I don't write as much as I used to, but I do still write. And years ago when I started, I used to write almost every day. And um, I started this story when I was a senior in high school at the age of 18. And I worked off and on on it since then, so it's been many years. Your character death seemed to reveal a weakness in them if, to, if to, they weren't strong enough to survive the challenges or harsh of, of life. Can you respond to that? Well, basically, a lot of the, some of the characters went through a lot of hardships and struggles and losses. And for them, I wouldn't call them weak. I would just call them human because we all go through bad experiences and sometimes we all deal with them differently. But in 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 the retrospect, I think they're strong characters. Oh, I, I see. created strong characters. Well, personally, I was disappointed with the ending because it lacked one of the really strong characters. And I don't know if that's a message, you know, that you'd want to send out the teams that, you know, a way out is to kill yourself. Not that it doesn't happen, but it leaves me with a sense of hopelessness. I hope Miles does struggle with his reality and is brave up to a certain point. You realize, you realize Miles means soldier, don't you? Um, up until today, I didn't know that Miles means soldier. No, that's a good, that's good though. But basically, like I said, that Miles goes through a lot of hardships and losses in his life. And the way it, I chose to write it, the way I wanted to write it, because not all life is ends happily, and this one ends tragically. And um, basically, also. Since um, since I'm the author, I I gotta choose how how to end it, and that's how I wanted to end. It. What's your next uh, book project? My next book is called Alistair, and it's about a ten-year-old boy who who's being abused by his father, and also abused by some bullies from his school. He's a loner until he meets a boy named Randy, and they develop a close friendship, and um, it starts. It starts off being dramatic, but then it ends up being poor. So I don't want to give away too much, but in the end, it turns out. <laughs> okay. Well, how did your last book, The Vendetta House, do? The my last book, The Vendetta House, did good. I mean, it sold some books. It didn't. It didn't hit the bestseller list, but you know, it sold some books and it's still selling. And hopefully, this new book will do better. And my book signing went well. Um, a lot of my friends and family and 
other people came and supported me and it, it turned out to be a good experience and I can't wait for the next one. On your next book, I mean, are you going to expand the, the amount of uh, bookstore signings and all that? Yes, even though I'm very shy and I get nervous and embarrassed, but yeah, I'm going to try to do more. Well, you know, I understand that last year you went to London to talk to a producer about making the movie for um, Veneta House. Tell us how that went. Mm -hmm. That went good. He's very, um, his name is Carl. He's very interested in making the movie for the Vendetta House. The only thing is we need to finish the screenplay. And the big thing is get the money for it, so. Well, tell me, where, where, where do you stand on the screenplay? So. Um, I haven't finished it. I need to finish it like my other stories. But, I mean, if, he, if it was a go right away, yeah, I would finish it. But right now it's kind of just on hold, you could say. Well, Danny, thank you for this interview. You know, it'll, it'll be on MTV next week, and uh, I hope you have a, a nice day. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Adam. Thank you. <laughs>